Now the obvious answer to the question, why is this asshole using a Jason knife to chop wood, would be, huh, oh, maybe he can't afford a decent axe because his insurance company must be aware of his YouTube account. Um, yeah, I don't have any axes. That's it. So, uh, donate to my Patreon below the video so I can afford axes, safety glasses, and the YouTube gap insurance. And while some of you are still mad I called it a Jason knife instead of a long black choppy thing, let's take a look at the dimensions of this Aranya cane machete. I think the standard version, straight from Thailand, sorry, Thailand, like the overall length and weight, with and without the cheap as hell cold steel heavy machete black Cordura sheath. That's what it's called, write it down. I can't do everything for you. Blade size and chopping edge. The only thing is you can't currently order or really even see the knives on your Ranyx website, so you'll just have to imagine it and bookmark it and check back every week. Handle size and grip area. It's been closed due to a death in the family since June. You may remember my extended Latin machete review I did around that time, right? Same brand, not very many views. I mean, all the cool people watched it. The, the cool people watching YouTube videos. Tallnesses. Or making them. It has a bunch of chopping in it too, so there's that. Now, if and when that website ever opens again, Aranyuk makes all kinds of choppers out of, I'm pretty sure, 5160 steel. Most are under 55 bucks shipped to the US without sheaths. Cold Steel has a whole line of cheap sheaths that fit it just okay to pretty fucking tight. So, you're asking how do I know which sheath? Look at the dimensions and figure it out like I did, champ. So yeah, 5160 and a convex grind that's pretty sharp out of the box. It comes covered in white grease to prevent rusting. No word on if it works well for a personal lubricant. They made a slightly longer one of these, but it said it's heavier, and these are already pretty heavy as is, and because of the change in the seasons, my batoning elbow is acting up again. My doctor said I should buy lighter machetes and drink IPA, so there's that. The handle. The handle is made out of eucalyptus, which is pretty hard. The handle is smooth and reddish, so not a lot of grip in the wet. Wear gloves or grip it like a man for a change, I guess. Wuss. I prefer some rear finger guards or grooves or what have you. The scales are peened on. If I remember correctly, they're not epoxied. I wouldn't trust my memory, though. I forget birthdays sometimes. Not cool, man. Let's see, uh, we did the blade and the handle. Are we at sheaths yet? No, just a single sheath this time. Like I've repeated myself a few times now. Wait, unless you'd prefer these to be two minutes. Oh, okay, I see a fair number of hands, okay. Like I said before, the sheath is a cold steel cheapie I got from Blade HQ. You can put it on a belt, but it's pretty heavy though. You have a few snaps to add some complexities. This is not a quick draw instrument. I mean, I guess you could watch a few machete self-defense videos and call yourself a fucking expert. For that joke, I had to look them up and make sure they're actually machete self-defense videos. Surprise, there are. Sheath is nylon or foam or some shit. If you're using it in a jungle survival scenario, it's wetter than Lynn Thompson with a broadsword in a room full of wild boars. Of course, with a push dagger for backup. If it's that wet, then you know, well, wait for the sheath and chopper to dry before said sheathing. Sheathing is what you call sex at a rent fair. Sort of recycled comparison section. Glad you asked. First is the Aranyuk. It's a big fucker. Expect your arm to get tired unless you've been doing some online training. I can see that tab, you didn't hide it well enough. How about the Zombie Tools Vacra? It's also heavy, but here's my theory. When you have a better fitting hand grip, I feel less energy is exerted by grasping it. Not having to hold it as tight seems less fatiguing. Now, if you think about that theory too much, it may not make any sense, but the fact of the matter is I like chopping with the Vacra better than the cane machete. I mean, the cane machete is heavier, so maybe that's really it. How about the extended Latin machete? Longer, heavier, extended. To be honest though, I know I sound like a wimp, there is such a thing as too heavy of a machete. This might be it. It looks cool and fun like sex with the clown, but it's a little fatiguing unless you're chopping through woody vines. If there's such a thing. How about the Scrama? Scarma? The Scrama? My last review? I mean, my last review, not my last review, because that wouldn't be possible unless I mastered time travel. This is a fun chopper, lighter and still choppy, comfortable, rounded, grippy, hot spot free handle. Shorter reach though, not as tactical, I guess. Huh, Junglist 2, 
While this is a chopper and I like it, I have a lot of other choppers. For my yard work, which consists of mowing every two weeks-ish and chopping up all garbage that has fallen from the trees, this is used less. It doesn't have as much weight behind the blade and it's more like a knife, so, you know, it may not be the best chopper. I hope we're done. I'll wrap this up and let the chopping do the talking and also do the talking. This is probably the cheapest with sheath chopper in the video, 60 bucks or so. It's a crude, inexpensive instrument. You can sharpen with a Lansky stone, puck, or half-ass it like me and run a Spyderco rod on the sides alternating in strokes to keep it sharp. It's big without a lot of flex, so it's kind of suited for chopping and woody things, but closer to your person. Just try to watch the scrotum. It chops wood in a pinch and breaks apart large limbs well. I don't know if you've had a couple cans and, you know, want to go out and wail on a stump in the yard. That's fine too. If you're chopping thinner branches, go with the lighter, thinner machete like the Ontario 18-incher. Less fatiguing, longer reach, cheap as shit. If you're a nitpicker or have ever used the word safe queen with a straight face, or maybe you make money by flipping sprint runs because you have no soul, this ain't the yard weapon for you. The blade finish can best be described as manhole cover blast or, I don't know, manhole satin. And the handle wall nice does have some gaps where the tang and the wood meet. I'm pretty sure these are mostly made and finished by hand, and every blade may be a little different. Like people. Who loves people? I don't. That's cool if you do, though. If you like this sort of review, you don't have to, but if you do, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, donate to Patreon, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.